Game 1 of the World Series 7.30 Eastern on Fox and the Fox Sports app. Looking forward to it. The Herd coming up next right here on FS1. Let's head over to Colin. Hey, Colin, what are you talking about today? Uh, all these big NFL brands. The Cowboys have their issues and the Eagles have their issues and the Patriots, of course, don't have any issues. It's all coming up, plus that fight in Lakerland. We'll discuss. Whew, how about that fight? Thank you, Colin. Time for our final topic of the day. Tonight in Atlanta, the Falcons host the Giants. Both teams desperate for a win. Giants are trying to rebound from that embarrassing home loss to the Eagles last week. Shannon, who wins tonight? I'm going to take the Falcons at home. Um, Skip, Eli is not the same. I mean, let's, let's, I'm, I'm going to be nice today because, uh, you know, had my fun early in the day. Mm. One team, <clears throat> my IG came back on, so I'm very mm. happy about that. So I'm mm. going to be nice. But Eli hasn't been Eli for an extended period of time. Mm. And I believe the Falcons and Matt Ryan with their high-flying offense mm. will have their way. They hang up, put up about 35 points, and they win this game. Mm. Maybe Jerry Jones got your IG turned off. Is that possible? Possible. He can pull those. Any, anything's possible. I'll put it past oh, you. Nothing past you and Jerry. So you realize the Atlanta Falcons defense is second worst in the league in points allowed. So surely even Eli can score 20 something points tonight with Odell and Saquon. Remember, you got Odell on the Monday night stage, yeah. national TV. So it's going to go one way or the other. He's going to have a big night. Or he's going to melt down because mm -hmm. one leads to the other. Oh, right? but they're going to get that thing to Julio early. He's uh, going to see Julio cook it. So? Yep. I still think the Giants can hang in for a while. I think they can score 21 and make some splash plays and lose 30 to 21. 21 ain't gonna come close to beating the Falcons. Well, again, but for Eli and company, if they can't, if they can't move the ball against these guys, then they should just done. fall off the rest of the season. Just, no, no, just no, no, forfeit. Because no. they still got another game they can win on their schedule. I, I, I think there's a one game oh, on their schedule they really? can win. Yeah. Yep. The Which team that already beat them once. Yep. You know, that team. It happens, Kip. Hey, if, if you've got Odell and Saquon, can't you make some yards and get yeah. in the end zone some? And guess what happens when they yep. Saquon doesn't do anything spectacular? Od Odell doesn't jump out the stadium and catch it. Hmm. It's a fumble or a pick. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Well, well. Uh, Jenny, you know, after this, old, old Jenny and our old, old home team. We started. And I... We're not going to end that way. That is it for us. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 9.30 oh. Eastern. Right now, Colin is going to tell you why the Eagles need to move on, and Shannon is going to have some fun. The Herd <laughs> starts now. Undisputed. Ah, this is The Herd. Wherever you may be and however you may be listening, live in Los Angeles iHeartRadio, Fox Sports Radio, and FS1. Joy Taylor is joining me on a Monday, one hour from now, where Colin was right, where Colin was wrong. James Harrison on the show today. What a wild weekend, starting on Friday. You got, you have Dodgers, you got NFL, you got college. Harbaugh dominates the Big Ten, so going forward, you ready to go? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's start with this. Well, Philadelphia, <laughs> are you having fun yet? Because you're celebrating in dog mass and got a book. And you do realize in the NFL, it's an 11 and a half month grind. After you win the Super Bowl, uh, go to the Bahamas and then get back in your office and put in 15 hour days. That's the NFL. If you want time off, coach college football. Coach college football. Because in college football, if you win recruiting day,